I do consider myself successful. I'm a risk taker, entrepreneur, but my dating life for the last 10 years was always a short-term, uh, as-needed basis. I'm not interested in getting involved with someone who's gonna be a train wreck for the next 25 years. I came across Lindsay's profile on the internet. And I don't think it's really anything different than maybe Match.com or something, but they just happened to be in freaking prison. Decided to write her, got a response back, and uh, our relationship took off from there. I think Lindsay's incredibly sexy. All you 50-year-old guys out there, you can be jealous as you want. <laughs> so uh, Lindsay is, um, Lindsay is being released from prison. Oh. Yes. Okay. And she is being released in two days. She was basically speeding. She had substantial amount of crystal meth in the car and was attempting to outrun the police and was up to 140 miles an hour. But I'm pretty confident Lindsay will follow the rules that she needs to follow to stay out of prison. I've never met Lindsay in person, but I am very much in love with her. Scott is my boyfriend. We met through a prisoner dating website almost two years ago. Scott had wrote me with pictures. He seemed really sincere. For the first time, I was like, wow, this person could be somebody that I connect with on a deeper level than a pen pal. And he has been my support system, my financial support system, but he also takes care of like my daughter and takes, helps take care of my mom if she needs anything. He has like really kept me going through my entire incarceration. I see marriage at this point, but no one in my family knows about my relationship with Lindsay. I am in love with Scott. I hope we're gonna be together forever. Like marriage, big diamond ring, big house, happy family.